How are you doing today? It's Katie M. Reed from KDMReed.com. And this is a little needlepoint my friend Heather made me. Says, hey Lauren, welcome. What on earth are you doing for heaven's sakes? Hey Sam. And I kind of like the double, double meaning of that. What are we doing for heaven's sake, for God's sake? So that kind of gives us focus today as we're going to enter into a time of prayer. I'm going to turn around here. Okay, I'm going to try. Um, hey, Tara. I'm going to try landscape today. That's what this is called, right? And I have to look in this weird spot. Hey, Susie. So let me know if I'm not looking at you. I'm trying to. Hey, let me get adjusted here. Yeah, my husband bought me a little stand for periscoping. He's so nice like that. And he bought me some maternity clothes last night at Target. Gotta love Target. You know, I could kick myself. We recently just got a rid, rid of a bunch of um, baby stuff. We didn't think, you know, we would need. We were, we were going to adopt again, but I don't know, just some stuff. So I think we bought, like, you know, have purchased three diaper genies, you know, with all our kids because we just keep, like, getting rid of them. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well today. And today is day 12 of the Restoration Project. And if you read the blog today at kdmreed.com, um, you read about how um, when we were on vacation, we went to my cousin's wedding, um, Irvin and Lee, they are fabulous. And it was at a Catholic wedding. And I'm not from necessarily Catholic upbringing, but I have friends that are. And um, thank you, Tara. And um, one of the things sometimes I get intimidated by at Catholic churches is I am sometimes not sure like when to say certain things. But at this ceremony, they made it really easy. And um, at one point, Lee's cousin um, got up and it was called the prayers of the faithful or for the faithful. And she would read or pray a statement and then we'd say, oh Lord, hear our prayer. And so I wrote a prayer this morning on the blog, but I thought today that we could share prayer requests and that we could join together, even though we're far away, some of us are in different countries from each other or different states. But I thought, um, yes, Tara, yep. Um, but I thought that we could, you guys could comment with a request and then we could say together, oh Lord, hear our prayer. Now, of course, I can't hear you. Um, this might be a better way, our, blab might be a better venue because I could bring three of you up on the screen and we could all say it together. But I just thought that would kind of be a different thing to do on Periscope. So if you have um, something that you want prayer for, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, for example, um, one of the examples I gave today was for refugees that are suffering around the world. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. So just an example, you could say four and then just kind of um, leave that. So I hope you guys are going to participate today because otherwise I'm just going to be twiddling my thumbs here or I will come up with things um, that we can pray for. Before we do that though, so be thinking, get your comments ready um, and don't, don't send them just yet. I'll give you like the go sign. But just a couple things. On Periscope, I do have my scopes public, but the comments are private. So if I am not following you yet, um, that's why you might not be able to comment. But if you just let me know and you're not a creeper or a troll, I will most likely follow you back and then you'll be able to comment. Um, but I followed a bunch of you today. I know of a new friend on Twitter that um, had told me that she was following me now, so I'm following her. And um, since I do follow follow most of the people that follow me so that they can comment. I do want to have a little disclaimer that I'm not necessarily endorsing everyone I'm following as someone that I think you should follow. So please proceed with caution if you're looking through my followers list um, to, you know, or who I'm following because I don't know everyone personally, obviously. Hey, hubby, welcome. And I just don't want to lead anyone astray. So if you get on there and someone's kind of weird, you know, I'm not giving the KDM Reed stamp of approval necessarily on them for following them, but I want to make sure everyone can comment. Does that make sense? Hopefully so. Um, and I don't necessarily just follow a bunch of other people on every social media, but on Periscope, I'm kind of following Cindy Baltimore's lead because I did think that was a good way to make sure, hey, thanks, hubby. 
It's a shirt you got me. Um, but I did just want to make sure that people can comment, but that you guys aren't seeing inappropriate comments because who wants to see, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then it's in our mind and we don't need to be thinking about those things. You know, whatever's true, whatever's noble, whatever's right, whatever's pure, whatever's lovely, but whatever's admir admirable, blah, blah, blah. think on these things. That's Philippians 4, 8, I believe. But um, I don't want weird stuff uh, popping up here in the comments. That's why I make them uh, public scopes so anyone can watch, but private comments. So I hope that you are all doing fabulous today and on this beautiful fall day. And so we're going to get ready to pray. And so pop it on up there. Hey, Jen, welcome. Jen Hand is a fabulous person. If you don't know her, she is a part of Coming Live Ministries, and you should check her out. She's a God-sized dream sister, and she has a contagious smile and laugh and I am thankful for her. So we're gonna get ready to pray, and so just go ahead and put your thing. I am using my new stand, hubby. You missed the beginning. I was raving how you got me a new stand um, for it. So you're welcome, Jen. So anyway, we're gonna get ready to pray. All the anticipation, drum roll. And I just thought, when we were at this wedding, there was just a lot of power in the whole congregation agreeing with what was said by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. And you know, we there's power in our prayers, even if it's just one of us praying. But I think collectively, as we lift our voices, wow, what an echo into heaven. And so we are going to pray today. We focused a lot on rest with the Restoration Project. Now it's time not just to talk about prayer, but to actually do it. And sometimes I'm very guilty of talking about it and not doing it. So we're going to start. And as I see your comment, I am going to say it. As long as my spirit's agreeing with it, if it's something out there, I don't know. And then we're all going to um, agree together by saying, oh, Lord, hear our prayer. So I'll start off with one, and I hope you guys will comment as well. Dear Lord, um, we thank you for this day. Thank you for freedom that we experience in this country. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. Okay, I'm going to wait for you guys and for your turn. For those, this is from Tara, for those who daily struggle with mental health concerns, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For those that are experiencing sickness or disease, may you heal and comfort them. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. For those who don't know you, this is from Sam. Let's agree, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For marriages that are struggling and families that are broken, oh Lord, hear our prayer. This is from Jen. Today for the shooting threat on the college campus that my sister and her husband live on, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For our church community as we grieve the loss of an 18-year-old girl, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For all those teachers that are scared about going to work because of the threat of shootings and the parents as they send their kids, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that are caring for aged parents or those that suffer with Alzheimer's or dementia or cancer, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of God's grace in our lives, oh Lord, hear our prayer. Oh Jen, you're nice. For me and my family, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that minister in your name, for Coming Alive Ministries, for Precept Ministries, for Proverbs 31 Ministries, for Encourage, those are just a few that come to mind, for um, A21, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. For those that have prodigals in their family and that they're pleading for them to come home, would you bring them home, Lord? Oh Lord, hear our prayer. For pastors who are continuously shepherding their flock, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For our political leaders, no matter what country we live in, Lord, would you guide them with your hand? Oh Lord, hear our prayer. 
for your peace to prevail in a world that seems so broken. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. For my pregnancy and all those that are pregnant or those that are struggling with infertility or adoption loss or waiting to adopt, oh Lord, hear our prayer. For those that are struggling financially, who are in debt or unemployed, would you provide for them, Lord? Oh Lord, hear our prayer. For those that are waiting on something big, would you answer them in your timing and your way and help them not to give up? Oh Lord, hear our prayer. I pray for your protection on people's online ministries, Lord. I know people have gotten hacked into or, um, you know, just malicious comments. Would you give us strength and would you protect our websites? Would your word prevail? Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Let's do a few more guys and then we will close, okay? For those that are lonely, those that are homeless, those who feel like they have no one, would you be their good shepherd and comfort them today? Oh Lord, hear our prayer. For godly wisdom, for those with questions, oh Lord, hear our prayer. I pray for protection on um, unborn babies. I pray that you would encourage single moms. I pray that you would be with those in nursing homes, Lord. I also pray that you would cover our churches and protect us from evil, Lord. Pray for integrity and purity in our churches. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are striving and don't see your grace, oh, Lord, that's me included often. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. For those that struggle with chronic illness and often feel discouraged, would you lift up their heads, Lord, and would you heal them if it's your will? But if not, would you give them strength for each day and a bold testimony for you? Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have cancer, oh yes, Lord. God, I'm going to go off script here. Oh God, you can heal any disease. And if it is your will to heal cancer, we know you can do it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for my friends, Nate and Charity of C2Fast.com, who hold a month-long fast in November, Lord, to plead with you to heal cancer. Lord, leprosy really isn't around anymore. May you do the same with cancer in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers. Thank you for this time with friends that we can be together, even though we're far apart, that we can lift up your name, lift up our needs. Thank you that you hear us. You're the God who sees. You're the God who knows. Absolutely, Jen, there is power in prayer. I just want to leave with a story. My friend Heather's dad is in the hospital. Amen, absolutely. My friend Heather's dad's in the hospital, and he was very weak, but he kept telling the nurse, pop. And they kept thinking, because in the Midwest we call soda pop. And um, But he was trying to tell them power of prayer. He knew he was getting stronger because there was those praying for him. So next time he asks for a pop, if you if you say that, you know, think about that, the power of prayer. And I just thank you for joining me today for the Restoration Project, day number 12, as we learn to un unwind through rest and prayer for the next, uh, not 31 days now, but the month of October. Thank you for joining me. Tomorrow I'm going to be re reviewing a powerful book from my friend Jan Greenwood called Woman, Women at War. It's a little tongue-tied today, sorry about that. Prayer is absolutely such an incredible gift. 
So thank you for collectively, we joined hands and uh, asked the Lord to hear us. And I'm so thankful that he does. And I'm standing with you guys in anticipation for his answers. You know, I have this um, plaque on my wall. Let me see if I can show it to you just a second. Do, do, do. I think I'm going to have to turn it around. Anyway, right there it says, be patient. Our prayers are always answered, but not always on the exact date we'd like them to be. And that's not like, you know, gospel or anything, but I, my friend gave that to me after we've been waiting um, to adopt. And I love it how, you know, God will answer. It might be a yes, it might be a no, it might be a wait, but he does answer our prayers. Um, okay, Echo Prayer app. We'll have to check that out, Tara. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow at 1.30 for the Restoration Project, day number 13. Have a wonderful day and we can rest assured we have a God that hears us. And may our ears be attuned to hear him today. Thank you, Jen. Hey, Mandy. All right. Hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later.